Hey guys, Lucas from iExplore here and I'm here in Shibuya today to show you one of my favorite street photography spots, uh, particularly in the last year I got a really cool photo in this location and I want to show you what it took me to get this photo, the kind of the steps I took. Um, it is a spot that we teach on one of our street photography workshops, it's a photo that we teach, so today I will teach Chica, who is with me here today, and I will also show you guys. So come with me, let's go. So there is definitely a cool shot here. Um, as you can see, you can do like this kind of portrait oriented shot, get just the grid without any of the other signs or anything, and then maybe a person coming out and that's, that's gonna be an interesting street photo. For the settings, I'm using f2.8. Chica, you're gonna use f4, right? Because your lens only goes to f4. Mm -hmm. We're in aperture mode, so we don't have to worry about the shutter speed. The camera will choose that. And one more thing, we're using auto ISO with a max ISO of, let's say, 3200. That's a safe number. And a minimum shutter speed of 250th of a second. That way, we're going to make sure that the people are very sharp as they walk through our through our shot at a kind of a walking pace. Okay? So, go ahead. Let's, let's take the shot, Chica. We'll do it as like a vertical shot. Make it like a portrait frame. All right, go ahead. Okay, and don't worry, there's nobody, oh, there we go, there's somebody coming. Okay. Yeah, and that's it, that's what we want. Okay, so a nice vertical comp composition with a person amongst the grid. Okay, so that, that shot is cool, but that alone I wouldn't be showing you here. It's not that cool, it's kind of neat. I mean, it's a neat shot, but we can do better than that. And that, that's the point of coming to this spot today with you guys, is to show you that after coming here many, many times, I sort of, you know, I looked around and I realized there's more to this place than initially meets the eye. And that's what I want to make sure that you guys do in your own street photography, is always try to work the scene and don't be too satisfied with the first thing that you see that looks amazing. Always try to go beyond that a little bit, okay? So let me show you the, the more cool shot here, all right? Come over here. All right, so we've moved over just a couple of feet from where we were shooting before and here there is a little hidden spot. Now those of you who have seen previous videos on our channel and especially uh, with me, you'll know that I really like reflections. And at first glance, this place doesn't seem to have a reflective surface, but actually, if you look closely at this white surface here, it is kind of shiny, and that's what we're gonna use. But first, a quick note about settings, one more time. Because these white lights are gonna be pointed directly into our cameras when we do this shot, as opposed to the one before, it's very likely that using uh, aperture mode or any kind of automatic or, or semi-automatic um, you know, exposure setting, that the camera will underexpose this shot. It's going to expose for the bright highlights and then everything else is going to be a bit too dark. So usually I find that in this spot I put my exposure compensation on plus one. Okay, so try that. Put it on plus one so that to make it one stop brighter. Um, and then we'll see how it looks and adjust from there. But I have a good feeling that's going to work. And I'm going to put my lens right up against the ledge here so that the ledge is like kind of halfway, halfway up my lens or maybe a third at the bottom there. Okay? Then I'm going to focus on the background. And for now, I'm not going to wait for a person. I'm just going to get a shot, okay? And there we go. Exposure looks great. There's nobody in my photo, but that's okay. Just got a test shot. And that's it. So go ahead. You try, Chica. You try that. Okay, so like halfway up. Focus on the background, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's tricky. So there's, there's a lot of little tricks to this, right? No, keep, keep trying. Keep trying. All right, keep trying. See what you can get. But yeah, the hard part is that, um, you know, the people are not maybe often tall enough here. Yeah. So yeah, so you got to get a tall enough person, um, which is tricky. Um, and you can move to your right a little bit because of the stairs going up. So there's like a lot of little things. Once you find like a really specific photo like this, don't give up so easily. Try to have a, a vision of what you're trying to achieve. And, and eventually, you know, luck will, will work out and you will get something interesting here. So it does take a bit of effort. Ah, that's a good one. I like that. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not, like, you know, perfect maybe, but it's pretty good. I like that one. You get this floating head effect, which is kind of interesting and, and funny looking. Yeah, not bad. I like the floating head guy more, honestly, because it's just more, it's just more weird. <laughs> weird is good. Yeah, he's great. All right. And Chica, don't put it up there. Being behind it is important, I think. Okay. Yeah, because then you get a more smooth effect. That's a good one. I still think the guy who looked at you was the best one though. <laughs> Just because it was so strange. Oh, she was pretty good too, yeah. That's the camera's left. 
All right, guys, so that was it. Um, as you can see, that's kind of what went into my experience of discovering that photo or creating that photo over you know, multiple visits to that spot, getting first that more obvious shot and then kind of finding that deeper, more hidden photo that wasn't apparent to me in the first place. If you have any questions, of course, also please put them in the comments. We love questions because we really want to help you out to figure out how to do your own street photography. Be sure to mash that subscribe button and the like button and all that stuff. You know, this is YouTube after all. Chica, what did you think of that spot? Was it good? Yeah, it was right. fun. Yeah. It was cool. You, I know you got some good shots for sure. Mm -hmm. I'll see you next time in the next clip. See ya. Hmm.